Hello everyone and welcome to our Fun Fact Friday. Today our question is, do cetaceans develop Alzheimer's disease? Hmm, quite interesting question. Uh, before we answer to this question actually, we need to understand what is Alzheimer. Alzheimer's disease is a, a type of dementia which uh, causes problems with uh, uh, memory, with uh, uh, movement coordination and with learning. It is a progressive disease, which means that it tends to increase and get worse with age. But it is not a normal uh, part of the uh, aging process. Um, it actually can affect people under 65 years old. On a microscopic level, um, Alzheimer uh, is characterized by the presence of abnormal structure in the brain, which are called plaques and tangles. And this uh, structure basically uh, damage the nerve cells, the neurons. Basically, uh, a protein, which is called beta amyloid, um, which is normally present in, a, in our brain, uh, can accumulate in the nerve cell spaces, uh, preventing the connection between neurons. Another protein, the tau, which is uh, uh, present inside the neurons, uh, can undergo the same process, so it can accumulate, uh, leading to a further degradation of the cell itself. Um, this actually happens normally uh, specifically in the hippocampus, which is an area of the brain which, is, which has a fundamental role in the learning process. Uh, since long time, this disease has been considered a human disease. But recently they found out that uh, chimpanzees in captivity they might they present similar brain uh, damages um, like uh, those that are present in humans. So this opened uh, the possibility that other wild animals might develop such disease. Um, but what are the species actually? Well, uh, considering that the outbreaks of the disease um, occurs in a later stage of the lifespan of an individual, it is most probable that uh, the species that can develop such disease are those that li live long and live long after their productive stage. So our friends, dolphins, including the orca, are actually such an example. I just take an advantage for a quick fun fact. Female orcas actually go through menopause and they can live at least up to 90 years old. The oldest female orca, which was uh, uh, very well known, it was called Granny, it actually was believed to be 105 years old when she died. So going back to our main fun fact, uh, it was actually uh, discovered. It's a very recent study, much more recent than the one on chimpanzees. So scientists reported uh, that dolphins stranded along the Spanish coast, some of them uh, presented the um, same abnormal structure, uh, so plaques and uh, tangles in their brain. So now the other question is, uh, do they actually develop the same symptoms uh, of dementia? So loss of memory, disorientation, uh, loss of uh, movement coordination. Well, this is much more complicated to uh, find out, to demonstrate, because we are talking about free range in dolphins. So it would be very hard to follow them and to understand if their behavioral patterns will be given by, uh, due to such disease or for other reasons. Uh, but if that would occur, uh, considering that the dolphins are highly and, mm, social, they have a very complex social structure, uh, would, we would suggest, we would think that um, they would suffer a very severe social impairment, just like humans. Actually, dolphins have a very good memory. They remember uh, their friends after 20 years uh, of separation. So this gives an idea of how the social bonds in the dolphins are extremely important. Actually thinking about that, maybe a loss of orientation, a loss of memory, disorientation might be one of those um, reasons why sometimes dolphin may strand. Uh, but this of course is just remains just a, a speculation because we don't have much information. Hopefully in the near future we might shed more light uh, uh, on this issue, on this topic, which I think is very interesting. And for now I just thank you very much and see you on our next Fun Friday. Thank you!